This is the real Tom Rose, and we're trying to calculate the y coordinate of point Q. Now, we know the coordinates of point P, and we know the co that point P is on a semicircle, and point P is the rightmost point on that semicircle. This allows us to draw an imaginary line back to the y axis, which will be the radius of semicircle P. Let's call this point C, since it's the center of that semicircle. And we know the coordinates of point C. The coordinates of point C are 0 in the x direction, because it's on the y axis. And it has the same height as point P, because we just made a horizontal change. Well, now we can calculate the radius of that semicircle using the distance formula. The distance formula in one dimension is pretty simple. It's basically the ending point minus the starting point. The tricky thing with the distance formula is making sure you're doing positive distance or negative distance. Positive distance in the x-axis uh, will move to the right. So if we want to calculate the radius, this distance will equal the radius. And let's calculate distance starting from C and moving to P. The end, we're going to do x coordinates here, the end is 6 and the start is 0. So the radius therefore equals 6. Let's take that same radius and point it down now. We know we'll still be on the semicircle because the radius touches all the points of the semicircle. And we already know some of the coordinates of point Q. We know point Q has an x-coordinate of 0 because it's on the y-axis. What we don't know is the y-coordinate of point Q. But again, we can use our distance formula. And this time, let's start at point C and travel to point Q. The tricky part about this is noting that we've traveled a negative distance. So we're on the y-axis and we're moving down. Down on the y-axis is negative. So we're going to move a distance of negative 6. The end is what we don't know. I'll put a variable such as x in here for now. The start is the y-coordinate of point C, which is 2.5. And we can solve this by adding 2.5 to both sides. And what we end up with is negative 3.5 equals x. So let's go ahead and plug that in to this coordinate for Q, negative 3.5. And that will be our answer. So I'll go down and hunt for this in the answer choices, and there it is right there, answer choice E.